So everybody loves to have a great fall food of some sort of apples, but you know what? These can be used year round. And it seems like the one pot is really, it's called an Instapot. It's really popular now. And the nice thing about that, it's like in uh, long ago when they used the pressure cookers, is now the Instapot acts as a great pressure cooker for your food containing all the nutrients so you aren't escaping them by boiling them on the stove. And I want to show you my special, really delightful apple compote, blueberry compote that's going to be delicious and so easy for you to make. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So first we're going to start by cutting up the apples. I like to take out the core. This is just my way of doing it. I'm sure you have your own and some places have uh, apple cores. The key is, is that I don't cut it into really small pieces. I leave it pretty chunky and just set it aside in a bowl. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our chopped apples. These are four chopped apples and we're going to add them to our pot. Now some of you may have noticed that I keep the lid to the side here. This is the best way to store it. Instead of putting it on top where it might be moist, keep it to the side there. It's really easy to store your Instapot that way. We'll go through the uh, channels in a bit. Next thing we're going to add is our water. So we have to add two cups of water. There's one cup. I'm going to get a second cup. I have a clean water filter, so I only use clean water. And then I'm going to add my one cup of blueberries. Like I said, I use frozen blueberries. You're welcome to use fresh, but then they must be seasonal. Next, I'm going to add my two dates. I don't chop them up because I'm going to let them just cook in and then I puree it if that's what I want to do. If you want to chop them, that's fine. Finally, I'm going to add my vanilla. I like to add a tablespoon because it really adds a robust flavor to this with the apples and the cinnamon. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to check and make sure it's all plugged in. The light will come on. We're going to take our lid and you're going to slip your lid on top and then you're going to snap it closed and turn this little knob so it's secure. And on the settings for this, I push porridge, even though it's fruit, because I want 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is really right to make this all blend in its flavor and contain everything. So we're going to wait the 20 minutes. It's going to warm up and then it's going to get started cooking. And at the end of the 20 minutes, we're going to take it out and I'm going to show you what it looks like between the pureed version and the chopped version. So this is the fruit compote as I've blended it with just four, maybe five blends on the chop with the KitchenAid. That's pureed. The other option is to leave it chunky. And you can see it's just fine that way too, but it's got a little bit more chunks. It's really a personal preference. They're both delicious. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some into my bowl here. And then I am going to use my donuts that are in the previous recipe of donuts. These are gluten-free and vegan donuts. And I'm going to dip them into my sauce. So here we go. We're going to take my donut here. We're just going to dip it in there and have a beautiful, delicious snack. Mm. The nice thing is, is these donuts are so moist. But actually, that's beautiful. Instead of a frosting, I'm using the unfrosted donuts and just dipping them. I don't care if this is a snack, your breakfast, this could be your dessert, guests for tea time, doesn't make any difference. This is a wonderful treat. 